Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how we can use uh, Node.js to send a email notification via SNS service. So basically, SNS stands for Simple Notification Service. So we can create a um, topic here. We can add subscribers here. So let me quickly create a topic. I'm going to choose a uh, topic type as a standard. SNS demo project is a name I'm giving. Display name, I'm going to call this as my SNS test is a display name I'm giving. And uh, create topic. All right, I have created a topic. So then, we have to add a subscription. So whenever we are publishing message via this SMS topic, who all need to get a notification. So those all email IDs you have to add under subscription. Create subscription. I'm going to choose subscription type as an email and I'm giving my email ID. Right, then create subscription. Again, whatever email ID we have given here, we will get an email you observe here we got an email and we have to confirm the subscription to receive email notifications all right i have confirmed the subscription here so we are good with this sns sns part if you are giving refresh here we can see a subscription id and uh, endpoint uh, and protocol as a email so if you want to have multiple email ids also you can add that as a subscriber here all right that sns part is completed now let's go to uh, EC2 instance. I just launched Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance, not configured anything. Let's quickly connect to this instance. All right, so let me elevate my privileges to root user. And firstly, if you want to, uh, like, you know, uh, we need an application, so that application. I have uh, a simple application in uh, that running with Node.js and uh, firstly I want to install Node.js within this machine. So for that I'm just um, preparing my repo. So these are all commands available in our uh, GitHub, GitHub repository. I will give that repository link in our video description. So once this is completed. <laughs> So it's better to go with the version 18 that is a uh, uh, more stable one so but I tested with 16 so you can even try with uh, uh, 18 all you need to do is you have to give uh, setup underscore 18 here all right it will take uh, 60 seconds so once that is ready so we we are good to install this node.js so for that you take this command and yes it will take 60 seconds all right it's completed so now we are good to install node.js All right, it's installed. So now verify the install version node as well as uh, npm node package manager. All right, so the node successfully installed. So now I'm going to initialize a project. So for that you can use npm init. So you can create a directory. I'm going to create a directory sns project is a directory name let's go inside the sns project i'm going to initialize here so now if i give ls a package.json got created all right so now next we have to install the dependencies see in this um, uh, project i'm using aws sdk and I'm using express and body parser. So we have to install the required packages. All you need to do is just run with npm. So it is going to fetch and it is going to install. 
all right that is completed if you gave ls you can see this package dot json package log dot json got created so now we have two options so you can uh, access this sns via access key id and secret access key otherwise you can create a role and you can associate that role to your ec2 instance so among these two access key secret access key and role i strongly suggest you to use this role but sometimes you have node.js in your local laptop you want to hit aws environment so this role option won't work so if you are using an ec2 instance to connect to your sns to send notification if you want to use this ec2 instance to host your website or that uh, the uh, front end right so then you can go with this roles option otherwise if it is out of aws environment or your local laptop you go with this access key and secret access key method all you need to do is you have to create an iam user make sure that user has sns full access or sns publish permissions at least and replace this and also you have to give that sns topic ar and here and as my machine is uh, ec2 instance what i am doing i am going with this roles concept only right so whenever you are using role you have to take care about only two things one is the region so in my case the sns topic is in mumbai region only and my ec2 instance in mumbai region only so i have configured mumbai here so then we need to give sns topic ar and here so apart from these two remaining everything is pretty um, straightforward so let's go here and uh, create it so i'm going to call this as app.js press i to go to insert mode paste everything so now okay same some editor issues what i will do i'm going to paste that into my local as i told you we have to replace this sns topic uh, as well as this region right i'm good with region mumbai region code is ap south one and sns topic arn so grab this sns topic arn and uh, replace that here all right so let me copy this and uh, let me create this as vim app.js i'm pasting everything press escape colon wq write and quit all right so the required app.js created and uh, i'm going to take a simple uh, ui what i'm going to use that ui to uh, give my recipient email id and the subject and the message all right for that i'm going to create an index.html press i to go to index.html uh, edit mode so then copy this and uh, place all that code here press escape colon wq so all right so we got required uh, application that can communicate uh, with uh, sns and we have index.html all right so now it's time to run this again to run this node.js application so we can simply give like you know node then app.js that is one method and uh, but it is like you know it's going to run within the terminal but i want to run it as an application so for that i'm going to use pm2 so i already made a video on this node.js uh, end to end so you can refer that to understand these things i'll give that video also in our video description so let's copy that and uh, install this pm2 so once this is installed right so we can run uh, this as detached mode okay so it's completed so now if you want to verify do we have any like you know existing applications and all you can simply give pm2 list so you see here nothing running so if you want to run whatever uh, this app.js here right if you want to run what you can do you can give that uh, pm2 start app.js you can pass a name for easy identification 
so you can give any name here all right so i'm going to start this and i'm going to call this as my sms application click on enter already you see here it is running and generally this application it, it's going to use the uh, the default node port number that is thousand three thousand so most of the times node uses three thousand if you want to explicitly change that you can modify this app.js all right so now let's go here and paste that instance public ip address see on port number 80 nothing delivers we have to give colon 3000 again so if you're easy to instance so this is my ec2 instance right this ec2 instance has a security group so make sure that security group is opened with port number 3000 if it is not opened with 3000 you cannot access this page all right now i got this page so now to what email id you want to send notification i want to send to my one of the subscriber and um, subject this is my test email message hello this is avinash from sns project right when you click on send email it will try to send an email but we are getting this error so you know the reason see the configuration and everything is fine we are able to get this uh, front end web page and all but we are not able to receive any email see this ec2 instance try to hit our sns top sns endpoint so but this ec2 instance don't have any access right so for that we have to create an iam role and we have to attach that role here so let's go to iam first navigate to roles then create a role so we are creating this for aws service only use case is ec2 we are associating it to ec2 instance then click on next what permission you want to give i'm going to give sns full access see if i'm attaching this role to my ec2 instance a dc2 instance can communicate with sns then click on next role name aws sns full access role right i'm just giving sns full access role then create role all right the role now created so let's go to ec2 instance go to actions security modify iam role give a refresh here and select sns full access role then update iam role all right so now this ec2 instance can hit sns endpoint with the help of role the role is going to give temporary credentials so as i told you if your application is running in your local laptop or if your application is running outside of aws environment so this role you cannot attach right so that's the reason what i did i prepared one here if you plan to use your access key id and secret access key so how we can do that you go to an iam user you go to an iam user if you already have a user you go to security credentials then click on create access keys so then select other then click on next and when you click on create access key you will get an access key id secret access key make sure this user has make sure this user has uh, sns permissions so you can give sns full access or you can just give publish uh, message permissions also right if you want to narrow down the permissions all right so now let's go here and try to send email now sometime back we got an error right but when i try to send email you see here email sent successfully let's verify whether we got that email to our mailbox or not you go to inbox and you see here hello this is avinash from sns project and this is what my sns topic name so this is what the subject i have given here all right so this is uh, all about this uh, sns project i hope you found this video helpful so please uh, spare some time and please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos on uh, aws projects 
and uh, see you again next video thank you guys